It's challenging, it's heart-wrenching, it's devastating at times, it's terrifying, but it's our journey. And, and it brings us closer together in many ways. It's the final day of American Heart Month, and tonight, a look at the harsh realities of heart disease. We first introduced you to Kim Lowe during the AT&T outage last week. She's waiting for a transplant, and she feared the call for a new heart would come while her service went out. New tonight, 5 News reporter Jose Carranza brings us a closer look at the anxiety, fear, and hope that comes with waiting. I am 42. I was born with a hole in my heart, along with... Um, a multitude of other issues. Defying the odds started at a young age for Kimberly Lowe. I could play most sports with my peers and I, I had a pretty normal as normal can be childhood. I tricked her into marrying me. Zach Lowe, now a witness to her life, her husband sticking by her side. She's way out of my league um, and she's, she, you know, probably the most resilient person I know. Resilient might be an understatement. Kim has gone through six open heart surgeries and became the first person at the Mayo Clinic to be put on ECMO life support twice and survive. But after experiencing a rare complication in a 2011 operation, Kim now needs a new heart. I've had over 40 blood transfusions back in 2011. Um, and with high antibody levels, it just makes it harder to find a match. So that between the type O blood makes it difficult. Kim was placed on the transplant list in January. A month later, Five News met the Lowe's during the AT&T outage. So I'm thinking they're going to call like the one time they're going to call. I'm not going to be able to get it. You're tethered to your phone and every call gives you a little, your heart a bit of a jump scare. As they continue waiting for that ever important phone call, Kim travels to the Mayo Clinic every two weeks, grateful that her husband and parents can join. I will tell you, being alone in the hospital is a terrible feeling. <laughs> it's scary because you just don't. You don't have, you just don't have your loved ones there. You feel, you feel lonely. Top of mind through all of this, the couple's 14 year old daughter. I know she's scared and we have a really good relationship. We're very close and that just, uh, it makes it, it makes it harder. It makes it harder. I hope the lesson that she comes away with is that she's resilient. The wait for a heart is long and Kim is ready to defy the odds once again to grow old with her husband and watch their daughter grow up. Now, as I sit in my car right now, I'm looking through the windshield and just, I can picture just this bright future um, with being healthier, looking in the rearview mirror and seeing everything that I went through to get to that point. And I, it's just, I need to remind myself daily that it will all be worth it. In Bentonville, covering news where we live, Jose Carranza, 5 News. Wow, what an incredibly strong woman. All right, transplant doctors say they are ready to admit Kim any day. Tonight, the family asked for prayers and asked for people to consider registering as an organ donor.